When you start hearing this idea that they want to give this vaccine to everyone in the world, they're racing to hopefully, they're now saying maybe by the end of the year. When you think of a vaccine that's going to have as little safety, we know there's no placebo trials going on against a, a saline placebo, maybe some other, you know, adjuvanted vaccines or things, but we don't have a safety profile that will be established. Is it not terrifying to think what good is a surveillance system see that, to see that this vaccine actually causes severe autoimmune diseases if we've all already got it in us? What could this do no, absolutely. to our species? So, uh, on an interview uh, about uh, a few days ago, I said that I would personally take a legal case. I'm, thank I'm very grateful that a lot of barristers and solicitors have now contacted me and organizations in this space because in, in our country we have a constitutional and inalienable right to body integrity. But I think the issue with these coronaviruses, what people need, need to be aware, is that this coronavirus has been around since 2003, and there are no licensed vaccines, right? But it's not that they have previously done a huge amount of work to develop a vaccine, but the reason why there is no vaccine on the schedule in America or there's none available is that in the studies, when they vaccinated the animal models, that when those uh, animal models, exactly I sent you the paper, came across again a coronavirus subsequently, they had a cytokine storm. So this happened with, say, an RSV for children, and two of yeah. the children died, the initial ones. But also, it is emerging that that could have been a major issue in why so many people died in Wuhan and in Lombardy, because no one is saying, why weren't there more deaths across China or in other regions? Yeah. And there was actually vaccine administered, and it shows that there, the U.S. Army actually published a paper that in the influenza uh, vaccine, that if coronaviruses were there, and um, that they actually, when the soldiers then came across a coronavirus, they had much more significant adverse events. So the danger for humanity is that there has been no corona vaccine in 17 years because, exactly as you say, if all of a population get it, it's only when the coronavirus comes along circulating the globe in three or four years, there could be hundreds of thousands of deaths. And so the reason why I started to speak out was that in Ireland, the Irish Medicines Organization did a press release on the 5th of May 2020 that they are going to engage in mandatory vaccinations for the whole country. And I will not take that vaccine and I will take a legal case and I've also offered to volunteer for parents or anyone in their employment who are adversely affected because of this flu vaccination. The idea that we might be putting people in grave danger by doing that is, is yeah. spectacular And if you just want to do the last slide, and at the end, but the last sentence is, because of these results, we have to really consider whether we should be making corona-type viruses. So I think that it's an experiment and that we should say no. And uh, scientists like me, who, who study, we, you know, immunology, we have to speak up because otherwise there could be significant unnecessary deaths. If you like that clip, then be sure to check out our live broadcast of The High Wire every Thursday morning at 11 a.m. Pacific time. You can watch it on Facebook, YouTube, iTunes, and Twitter. We'll see you there.